Hello, thanks for joining me on the Waters and Stanton video channel. This is really a news item, but uh, before we go to the news item, I thought I'd just have a look back at Radcom February 1972, which takes us back 50 years. In fact, it's Valentine's Day today, but uh, this doesn't stop me doing a video. <laughs> so let's have a look at Radcom. 50 years ago, February 1972. Here's the, the front cover. Well, it's not the most ambitious front cover, I have to say, but it does support an article inside. We tend to take VFO control on 2 metres and 70 cms for granted these days. But going back 50 years, the idea of a VFO on 2 metres, let alone 70 cms, was quite an advanced step. And here we have an article showing how this might be achieved on two metres. Not a full-blown construction article, but a sort of an outline. And the idea was you had a crystal-controlled oscillator multiplied up to 68 megahertz, and you mix that with a VFO, free-running VFO signal on 4 megahertz, and you had an output of 72 megahertz. Then all you had to do was to multiply that by 2 to arrive at 144 megahertz. The stability claimed was quite good. Does seem to be quite a lot of multiplication though. And then looking further through this edition of radio communication, I'd completely forgotten that the original FT101 didn't cover 160 metres. So here was an article explaining how you could add 160 metres to your FT101. Included in the same article was a dire warning from one of the distributors, no less than Low Electronics, who warned against the idea of diving into the FT101 and modifying it for 160 metres. Nevertheless, the article proceeded for another full page explaining how you should do this, and it was up to you to decide whether it was safe or unsafe. And then, turning over a few more pages, I was completely shocked to find an article about the high gain 14 AVQ written by Peter Waters, G3OJV. He was then at the tender age of 29 years. Yes, it was me. I'd completely forgotten about this article. I must check through my bank statement to see whether they ever paid me. I'm sure they did. Or perhaps... No, I must check first. Well, Yesu seems to have been pretty busy in the last few months bringing out new transceivers. And here we have another transceiver. It's the FTM200E, which has just been announced today. And I've only got provisional information, but I thought it would be a good idea to just tell you what we know so far. And uh, you can then judge for yourself whether this is something that you would... Uh, like to get further information from. As soon as we've got all the information, we will put all the information up on our website, but I can only tell you what we know at the moment. So let's just take a quick look through the, the main features of this new transceiver from Yesu. The FT200E covers 2 meters and 70 cms, is rated at 50 watts output, has a keypad microphone, as you can see from the photo, and looks to have quite a nice, sharp and clear display. In fact, the front display is a two inch display and emphasis is put on the frequency of the band that you're operating on. And apparently you can change the color of the display. You have a choice of red, white or blue, which is very appropriate for the United Kingdom. And also there is provision for Bluetooth. It's an option and you will need the uh, Bluetooth adapter a headset which is the BT10. The memory seems to be fairly comprehensive and there's something called PMG, Primary Memory Group, and this can contain up to five popular frequencies which enables you to quickly switch between any in that group. There's also provision for alphanumeric display. I should also add of course that apart from the analogue operation it also has on board the uh, Yesu um, digital modes. The radio also has the ability to memorise customised functions that you use commonly and you can store up to eight of these function sets. 
It also has a wide frequency range on the receive side. It goes from 108 megahertz to 999 megahertz. So it misses out the FM broadcast band. Although it doesn't actually specify it, I'm assuming it does cover the AM aircraft band, but you will need to check this because it's not mentioned in the, in the uh, provisional blurb. They've also managed within the 2-inch display to fit in a panoramic display, which is quite useful. And for those requiring GPS, there's a 66-channel receiver. They mention there's provision for data communication, although there's no um, great detail of how this um, is provided. And there's also Vox uh, function, which is perhaps a little bit unusual on, on FM and the digital. They also mention a recording function. Again, there is no details of what uh, this actually involves. And the same can be said of something called a snapshot feature. So, that's all we know at the moment. But it's good that uh, manufacturers like Yesu are bringing out new transceivers. They obviously see the market as a worthwhile uh, thing for them to put money into and invest, and which is good for us ham radio operators because it's nice to know that we've got some big manufacturers in Japan willing to put money into new development of new transceivers. And this is just an example. So as I said at the uh, outset that we haven't got too much information. Certainly I've got no information at all on the price, but that will be on our website as soon as we know what the price is going to be. And likewise delivery, no information at the moment, but again, that information will be on our website. So it's worth checking our website from time to time just to see what the latest information is. There we are, a little news item really, but uh, thank you for clicking on this channel, greatly appreciated. What's the next video? The next video is going to be about magnetic mounts, would you believe? Yeah, <laughs> we get lots of questions about magnetic mounts. And you know, there's a lot of things that can go wrong with a magnetic mount if you don't pay attention. So keep your eyes open for the uh, video about magnetic mounts. Don't forget to press the subscribe button, then you'll be alerted automatically. And, uh, well, I'll look forward to seeing you again in that video, Magnetic Mounts. Keep in